hope so you all will be fine so in this video we will see uh, one task we will write a code program for one task and i will show you how you can write any program in lmc simulator so i am using this simulator and uh, what we are going to write is we are writing this program so this is the task which is showing here you can see that write a pro lmc program that calculates the sum of numbers provided by the user display the summation as output before halting the program if the user has provided less than or equal to 10 input values then only some even numbers or odd numbers are ignored if the user has provided more than 10 values then only some any odd numbers subsequent to the 10th input the existing summation of even numbers shall remain if the user enters zero at any point then the summation is displayed for example input values are three three four zero then result should be four input values two three seven zero result should be two input values one two three four five six seven eight nine eight seven six five four three zero then the result should be 43 so let's start writing the program and see the result so first of all start start the program first of all we will take the input chart input let's declare some variables here one that so for st storing any kind of uh, data in variable we use that one so two two ten ten so odd total if if there there is sum of odd numbers then it should be odd stored in odd total and if it's sum of even numbers then it should be stored in even total that zero and is even if the number is even then it should be stored in is even increment count as soon as program counts the number then it should increment to one and store the store it the result in increment count well values of the input zero so these are some of the constant variables which we are using for this program so let's move forward first of all inputting the values store the values in wells variable if the value is zero then halt the program and if value is not zero then increment move forward to increment counter then sub 10 to check if the result is if the values are greater than 10 or below the below 10 we will subtract 10 from the increment counter so this is the as soon as increment counter becomes 10 then subtract 10 from the increment counter brp above 10 <coughs> so again load the values so it will subtract every value from 10 and then as soon as all the values are processed then it it will move forward to this point brp 10 so brp if the value is above 10 if the value is positive for example 11 if the value is 11 of the increment count so 11 minus 10 10 minus 11 is minus 1 so value is negative so this will move towards above 10 otherwise it will continue to process the values if the values are positive then we will check here if the value is even store is even subtract 2 subtract from 2 subtract every value from 2 brp loop 1 bra odd number if the value is not even then it should go toward odd number odd number loop 1 brz even number bra so it will continue the loop as soon as as all the values are process for even number and odd number so then as soon as we found out which values are even and which values are odd then it will move towards so what what is uh, here going on is every value is subtracted from 2 and as soon as the result is 0 then it's the even number it will move towards even number and if the value is odd then it will move towards the odd number branch so let's move forward even number branch even number load the values at even total so the value will be added to even total if it's the even number store the even total then it will be stored in even total and similarly if the value is 
code code number load values load increment count add one store increment count pra start so it will again and again process the values and if the input value is zero then it will give us the output so now what we have to do is if the values are mm -hmm. above 10 above 10 if the values are above 10 let load the values continue to second loop then we will work on second loop store is even if the value is even subtract subtract 2 to check if the value is even or odd prp loop 2 pra odd above 10 then it will move towards loop 2 prz if the values are even it will move towards even above 10 even above 10 pra continue to odd above 10 similarly as we have done for the numbers below 10 now we we are going to work on the work for the numbers above 10 Load above 10 input numbers above 10 Load above 10 load values add or total store or total now we will work on even above 10 LDA increment count, LDA increment count, add one store increment count, PRA start. Now, if the program exit, then what should it do? Hard LDA even total and add O total and output the result. Now, let's run the program and see what's the output. So, in the example, it's showing 33340. Let's see 3340. 0 let's run it and see so the output is 4 and similarly 2370 edit 2370 so here you can see that the result is 2 so if we check this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 as these values are above 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 8 7 6 5 4 3 0 8 7 6 5 4 3 0 let's run it and see what's the result so here is 43 and is here also it's 40 so as you can see that we have written the program successfully so if you don't understand anything in the program then you can just mention in the comment section or you can ask me directly so so that i can explain it to you if you have any pro you are facing any problem in writing any program you can also ask me for that so if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video